So I grew up in New Orleans and, you know, I grew up in the actual, true New Orleans. And I say that because, you know, commercials, um, history books, all types of propaganda will try to present um, a vision of New Orleans that shows like it's Mardi Gras all the time, people on Bourbon Street having a good time, which is all true. But then there's the other part, you know, the part that you saw kind of during Katrina, which can either do one of two things. It can create hopelessness or it can actually create hope. And I feel like my mom was one of the most instrumental people in my life to helping me create hope. Because where we started at was, was a pretty rough area in the city. And so, I mean, you saw things that as a six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10-year-old kid that normally you wouldn't think that you would see looking back on it now. But um, I can remember being in a certain school, being in a certain neighborhood, associating with certain people, and I just knew, and she didn't tell us till later, but I knew that she was believing for something greater. And not only believing, but taking the time out to act upon it. And before you know it, I can remember next second, I'm at a new school, I'm associating with different types of people, there's more diversity in my surroundings, um, we have more money to do things, and she made all of this happen because of the power of belief. And that's so important, and it's such a great thing to implement to those around you, especially if you have children, you know, let them know what's going on, let them know how it works, because it can only benefit them as they get older.